mixed martial arts contest at straw weight. It's Namiki Kawahara taking on the Thunder Kid from the Philippines, Lito Adawang. When Lito is in the circle, it's a don't blink or you'll miss it moment. circle. He is so aggressive. He pushes forward and once he feels you go, he jumps all over you. I like his stand-up, but I really also like his submission game. He's got a nasty Kimura. He's got good finishing instincts. But let's talk to the man that found him on Rich Franklin's Wood Warrior Series. Rich, tell us about Lito Adiwan. I'll tell you what, I think Lito chose the wrong name instead of Thunder. They should have called him Lightning because, man, when that kid decides to strike, it's fast and hard. I love Lito, man. I love, I, when recruiting him, the moment I saw him, when I was in Lakai, I said, I got to have this guy on my roster. Took him immediately. Lito Adewan certainly brings the excitement every time he's in the circle. Can he bounce back, rebound, and get into the winner's circle?
minutes in a one strawweight mixed martial arts contest. This match is presented to you by Petron. Chill mode on the road with Petron Sprint 40. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a One Warrior Series contract winner, standing at 162 centimeters tall, holding a mixed martial arts record of 11 wins and 3 losses. Trading out of Team Lakai, representing the Philippines, please welcome Lito Thunder Kid. his opponent out of the red corner. He is a Japanese mixed martial arts champion, standing at 170 centimeters tall, training out of Team Alpha Male, representing Japan. Introducing Namiki Your referee in charge, Mr. Olivier Cost. Hi guys, watch out for headbutt, low blow, back of the head is fine. I want to clear fair fight, touch glove if you want. An intense back stare down there for Kawahara and Adewang. Chances are it will not go the distance inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium. A limited live crowd on hand for this one. You can hear them cheering for Lito Adewang in the background. Judge! Judge! Judge time! Ready? Ready? Two! Adewang has eight first round finishes. Three by sub, five by knockout. Kawahara has stopped his opponent in the first two rounds in six of his seven wins. Neither man used to going to deep water. Very wide stance here on Kawahara. Let's see if Adewang can flurry early. Small but excited crowd as one championship kicks off the 2021 calendar. But a stacked card. Leg kick from Kawahara. Counter overhand right fell short from Lito Adewa. Adewa's going to try to bait Kawahara to come forward and get caught with some of these punches. I like how he's utilizing the leg kicks early because he also knows that Kawahara has really good movement. Lito Adewang in the traditional Team Lokai red trunks. Also has become tradition, the Team Lokai mullet. Leg kicks again from Lito Adewang. The Thunder Kid raining down a storm so far on the legs of Kawahara. That very wide stance may be affecting the ability of Kawahara to check those leg kicks. Virgin for a takedown to no avail though. Right hand lead, stiff jab there from the Thunder Kid. Kawahara did get deep into that takedown, but beautiful defense by Adiwan to stop him right in his tracks. Kawahara the more flat footed of the two, assuming that karate stance. Switching stance to Southpaw, now back to Orthodox Kawahara. Adewang setting himself. Left hook to overhand right, loaded up the overhand right, but telegraphed it. Drift back to centre circle. Nice outside thigh kick to the back leg there from Kawahara. The Thunder Kid clips him over the top. Overhand right coming very close for Lito. Kawahara showed his cards then with the right hand. Outside leg kick from the Japanese warrior. Both oh, these guys are winging the hooks at each other. They are letting those hands fly. Absolutely no filling out process in the opening round. Both men guaranteeing a knockout. Hands low on both. Adamang's got the right cocked and ready. Adamang has had success so far going to the legs of Kawahara. There's a kick to the ribs from the Thunder Kid. Kawahara now up on the balls of his feet, bouncing in and out, trying to find range. Adewang still targeting the legs of Kawahara. What's the game plan there for the Thunder Kid Dragon? And he, he, he knows exactly what Kawahara wants to do. He wants to come in and come out. He wants to bob in like a fencer and then get back out. If Adewang can just start beating up those legs, it's really going to limit that 
that movement, and it's going to slow Kawahara down, and he's going to be more stationary to get caught with some of these punches. An overwhelming 83% of fans on the one super app chipping a win for Lito Adewan tonight. Adewan went for the outside leap by Kawahara. Kawahara tries to clip him with that looping right. No success so far with the hands of Kawahara. Adewan thought about the front kick off the rear leg. A very calculated approach by Adewan tonight so far. It was almost a, a hammer fist strike there off the left hand from Kawahara. A little unorthodox. Looping left hand from Adewan. Good snappy jab and out of range immediately Kawahara avoiding the counter strike. Adewan has that beautiful ability to combine power, speed and precision. Yeah, his speed almost creates that power, especially when he gets you hurt. He jumps all over you. You can see what these guys are trying to do. They're trying to pull in each one of them, their opponents into their punches. They're trying to move back and then counter with a beautiful cross. Good outside leg kick there. Just connecting with the bottom part of the shin was Kawahara. Other one goes to the ribs. 3-2 combination. Another rib kick there from the Thunder Kid. 30 seconds left in the first round. Good superior striking there from Lito Aduak. The biggest difference is these kicks coming from Adiwan. They are scoring in rapid succession, especially when Kawahara switches to southpaw. You can see Adiwan starts teeing off on that roundhouse kick. Jab too, but the distance isn't there for Kawahara. Yeah. Tries a jump turning back kick. Uchiro Geri doesn't work for him. Yeah. Good right hand lead there from Kawahara. Trying to mix it up. Overhand right from Adewan for the headache maker. Into the first round, we go to the towels. Folks, give us a follow across all your social media platforms at one championship on Facebook and Twitter. Dragon, your thoughts after one. Yeah, I like what the work of that Adiwan did early in that round with those leg kicks and the body kicks as the round progressed. He was scoring very heavily. He also slowed down that movement as the round wore on. Kawahara seemed to slow down a little bit. He wasn't fully committed to those shots. He attempted a takedown early in that first. But Rich Franklin, how'd you break down the first five? Yeah, I, I'll tell you, he, I gave uh, Lito, I scored him on that takedown defense there, but it was all about the striking in this round. And I've edged Lito out on this one. And I'll tell you what was the difference maker for me with just a little over two minutes left in that round. Uh, Lito landed a nice kick right-hand combination that kind of threw Kawahara back a little bit. But otherwise, this is a pretty even chess match. I still have Lito inching it out after five minutes of action. Right. Ready? Ready? Great to have the ace. Rich Franklin with oh. us here in the Singapore Indoor Stadium tonight for one championship unbreakable. And as you saw after the first five minutes, the striking superiority in particular leaning the way of the Thunder Kid from the Philippines, Lito Adewak. Skip up inside thigh kick, high to that femoral profunda there from Kawahara. Trying to throw a cannonball off that right hand, did Adewan. A little more coming forward already in this round from Kamahara. Adewan circling into the right hand. The preferred hand of Kawahara, though he does switch stance a lot, as you are seeing. Good cracking rib kick. He's landed that a few times in the match so far, Adewan. It's the power kick off the back leg. The torque of the hips, the pivots on the balls of the lead foot, enabling that beautiful Mawashi Getty roundhouse kick. Adewang leads in, swings the left hook. Kawahara, very straight up stance, hands are low. Thinks he's a little quicker than Adewang. Believes he can time it if Adewang comes looping with the left or the overhand right, that he's got the quickness to evade it and get out of dodge. He's having a hard time with the distance of Adewang, though. If he closes the distance, he gets met with a flurry of punches. But if he stays at this kicking range, Adewang's just a little bit faster with these kicks, and he's scoring with the legs. Kawahara wears that leg kick to the back of the calf. Nicely placed from Adewang. Kawahara needs to start committing to some techniques here. And you see Adewang just playing mind games. You mentioned the wide stance in the beginning of the first round, and it's kind of lending to the ability for Adewang to land these leg kicks. A, a wide stance is not conducive to checking low kicks. 
it's hard to get that leg up and at least reduce some of the pressure that he's feeling from these yeah. leg kicks. He's got to start oh, back! Presented to you by Petron. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee has called a stop to this contest for your winner. By way of knockout, Lito Adewa. 83% of fans worldwide of the one super app were correct. Lito Adewa. Second round knockout.